So we're here with Dustin O'Halloran, the co-composer of the Academy Award-nominated film Lion. Dustin, thanks for being with us. Thank you. How did you get involved with the film? Well, Falker, aka Hauschka, he had a concert in Melbourne and he was performing and Garth Davis came to the came to the show and Garth it, Davis it, the director. Yeah. And he didn't um, Folker didn't really realize that he had, didn't know who he was, and they agreed to meet after the after his concert. And he, Garth said he wanted to show him some clips from his film, and he didn't know if who he was, if he was a, a what kind of filmmaker he was. And when he saw the first, he just showed him some stuff. I think he brought his laptop and showed him some clips, and and uh, Folker was really impressed. And then he asked uh, him if. He, he could imagine doing a score with me, and he didn't realize that we've known each other for 10 years. He meaning Garth, didn't Yeah, yeah. and Garth is a really serendipitous, the way he's made his film is so serendipitous and instinctual, and there's also a, kind of a spiritual element that he really relies on in how he chooses things, and and, and this, this was just a, a sort of a, a small piece of that. In, a, in the bigger picture of the film and how we came together. And uh, Hauschka and I have never composed something together. It was the first time working together, but we've known each other for a long time. And we released records on the same label and we did a lot of touring together. So it was, uh, it it was great. I, I felt immediately that I could do it with him and we were, were, he's one of my best friends. So to, to sit in a room and make music with somebody it's, uh, it, it, it's, there's not that many people I could do it with. Although it is kind of unorthodox to hire two composers yeah. to work on the same film. Uh, and so how did that work? How did the partnership work? Well, I think when Garth first imagined it, I think he imagined that, that Hauschka's music could work really good in the first part of the film because the, it, the film is sort of two halves. And he always described it as two, Sto you know, two sides of a butterfly or two sides of a book. There's a, you know, there's a, a part where it changes, but it's, but ultimately, as he's been making it and as we made the music, we realized that his music is really inventive and it, and it has, uh, it, there's, there's so many textures to it, and it really worked well with, with the boy and his, his ability to, to navigate all of these precarious and dangerous situations, and still somehow had a brightness to him and. The, and, and India is such a textural place, but there was never any talk about doing Indian music. And, but perhaps the timbres of uh, Hauschka's music, because he works with prepared piano, it, it, there's something that could connect there. And so as we got into it, we realized though that, that um, we really needed to bring it together. And it wasn't, we weren't gonna split it up. I, Garth. I think had the idea that this second half, which was more internal and emotional, would be a part that I would be good for. So I think his idea was he wanted to kind of see if he could bring the two halves of his film together musically. And I think it was a, it was a really smart choice because it's an emotionally a lot of weight to carry for one person. And there are, there's two periods of time that you're dealing with and you need to somehow represent that. and. It, and the fact that we could work together, combine our sounds, I think really helps represent both of both of those. And we ended up just working on the, the whole film together. Where were you physically and where was Hauschka physically when you did this? I understand you're really sort of on opposite sides of the world. Yeah. Well, we started, I was in Los Angeles and he was in Dusseldorf, where he's from. And we started on our own. I think we're both, we needed to sort of find our own space in the film and just get into it. And, and we, they were pretty close to a final edit when we came on. So we came on a little bit late. So we really had to dive in and, and get into it. And so we spent about a month just getting, sending files back and forth, sending stuff to Garth just trying to create a language for the film and, and, and find out what, what, we, what tools we had to use and finding some ideas and themes. And Hauschka came here and we worked for about 
four to five weeks to finish the score together. And that's where we, we brought all of our ideas. A lot, eventually everything shifted and changed and we really came up with everything here, but all of the pre-work that we did was more of us just getting, getting into the spirit of the film and connecting with it emotionally. And, and that really was helpful that we had that time on our own. And then we finished everything here. Um, you're a pianist, yeah. and Hauschka has also been working with piano for years. Why do you think piano was the right voice for this score? Well, the piano is an instrument that it's it, that has so many voices, and there's it's dynamically very rich. And in in a way, most composers need to learn the piano because it really represents the orchestra as well. You have timber, you have rhythm, you have everything from the bass to the hot to the highs and so it's it's a rare solo instrument that in, that can encompass a lot and Hauschka is taking it also to a totally different space because he's working with prepared piano so he's uh, define that would you well he'll put pieces of wood inside and he'll put um, uh, bottle caps and he'll put different materials he'll tape tape the strings with duct tape and everything that he does turns it into an, a new instrument. It creates completely new uh, timbers, and and it and and then he'll run it through effects and affect it. So he uses it as a sound source to create to generate sound, and so that created a whole another dimension of just working with a classical piano sound or even a felted piano sound, which is traditional and. So we, our, what we could do with just the piano was a lot. And there's strings and other elements in the score, droney elements, more ambient elements. But the piano felt like it could tell the story of, of one person because it is, a, it is one instrument. And it's a lot of different things happen to him. And he goes through a lot of changes and he goes through a lot of experiences so we could tell a dynamic story and we could c carry a lot of different emotional hills and valleys but still keep it restrained and so anytime if we were trying to explore bigger ensemble pieces it felt too much it always felt that we were it was heavy-handed to the film and so the piano we just kept kind of stripping it back and going back to the piano and it was a, it was just sort of a bit of trial and error, and, and eventually it just it just stuck. How did you keep your director in the loop? Did Garth visit you, or did you send him music, and did he then cut it into the picture? Uh, well, we didn't meet until we were doing our final mix. <laughs> well, he was in he was in he's in Melbourne, and the first Skype meeting was I was in Los Angeles, he was in Melbourne. Volker was in Dusseldorf. Uh, there were some producers in Sydney. There were some producers in London, and we all had to find a time that we could all talk. And I think what I've learned is when you feel a connection with somebody, even if you haven't met them, and his film spoke so much about the kind of film that he wanted to make. And he's an incredibly, he's an incredible communicator, which is, which was really helpful. He was, he gave such clear, strong secure feedback and what he wanted and so I never felt like that was hindering the experience and Skype is a we were able to talk all the time on Skype which we did and uh, almost daily during a lot of the process so you just establish a really familiar contact and then when we finally met it's like we've known each other for, you know for years and it didn't feel like we'd never met and uh, so it's, you know, we immediately had a really great bond and, and, and I think that he's, uh, it's incredible that this is his first film. It, he's such a gifted director, so it, to work with somebody that has a natural gift and you feel that, I think is, and I'm sure everybody will say the same thing that that's worked with him. His approach was absolutely unique and and thoughtful. And um, it was, it was a really, I, Everyone gave so much blood, sweat, and tears for him because he knew how to 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 bring it out without um, being heavy-handed. I mean, people want it, want to give it to his films because he's 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 a natural, definitely. Both you and Hauschka 
unlike most film composers, I think, have had a background as public performers. Yeah. And I'm wondering, does that different kind of experience give you uh, a different kind of view of what music communicates to an audience? Yeah, I think that to perform and to perform for an audience and to write music for yourself is a is uh, a completely different experience in writing for a film. You there's you're only accountable to yourself at at the end of the day. And if your concert, if you're able to project and communicate what you want live, that's also on you as well. I think you learn how to get in touch with another side of yourself, and it's. And you're not on a grid. You're not on a timeline. You understand space in a different way, and timing in a different way. And ultimately, it's just. I think it's like all music and all composing. It's helping you reach a deeper truth inside yourself. And I think that if if I had only learned to write music as a collaborative experience, it, it, I think that it would have been harder for me to find my own voice. But I've had so much time. Doing my own music, touring, and it gave me a thicker skin too to 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 be involved with film because it's actors they they go through it from the beginning of their career where there's you know you're always sort of judged or there's always a critique on everything you do, and I have incredible respect for how people develop their own styles in that environment because it's really if you're sensitive. It, that could also be really a crushing experience, but you, but if you have a background of being able to explore and explore a lot of your own music, you can be a little bit more confident to know who you are and who you want to be and what kind of direction you want your music to go when you collaborate. I'm curious to know, since you are a public performer mm -hmm. and you were working at the piano. We are actually listening to you play much of the time in the film, right? That's you playing? Yeah, it's, it's Hauschka and I both performing the piano. And we perform a lot, of, a lot of the parts in the score itself. I think both of us, we've, that's how we've made music and that's how we have always approached music. And it's that personal touch that is, it, it was interesting because we, were, uh, we had a session where we were really, really tired and we'd been working 12 hours and we had a really early morning session. And I had someone come in to help us do some piano, and she was a great player. And we just wanted a backup because we just to to write and be writing music for 12 hours a day. We were really kind of in the under the gun, and then be ready for a recording session is a completely different. You have to be prepared, and 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 uh, and in the end, it was interesting because she played great, but the, the touch was different, and it was what we realized was really important to the scene. So I went and played it and I ended up recording it, that, that part, because it, you know, that's where I realized, wow, even you can play all the notes, but the touch is, is really important to transporting a lot of the energy and, and communicating a lot of the emotional content. And so, and that's one thing that's great with Hauschka is we're both the same kind of composer. We, we both really put our hands on it and it, and, we don't know how to <laughs> any other way to, to do that, and so it's great to, to be able to work with somebody like that. Would you actually play while the picture, while you were watching the picture? I mean, yeah, uh, really. Well, a lot of what happens, in the, a lot of the score is single piano takes from top to bottom. And what we did was we set up the screen near the piano, and what we realized is that most of the film is completely out of time, no click, no, and there's a push and a pull and a breathing to the music that we needed to accomplish to connect with this character and to connect with the film and to give it, to really breathe it some emotional life. And the challenge was to get these takes and the last, one of the last sequences in the film is about an eight minute sequence and it happens when he finally discovers his home on Google he tells his girlfriend, he flies to India, you know, he says goodbye to his mom, he arrives in India, he goes to the hotel, travels into the town, goes to the village, and then finds, I don't want to spoil it, but that whole sequence is a single piano take. And it took me, <laughs> it took hours to get it right, but it, it had to be a single take because 
if you push it or pull the tempo a little bit here, you wouldn't land in the right spot later. And so to get, because there were like some changes that had to happen, like there were, there's about five or six different shapes and things that needed to happen at certain points in the film. It's one of the most parts where there's most, the most changes in the music, but it needed to be, it needed to flow and it needed to feel like it was just flowing because the way he edited it also, there's a lot, he's, you're, he's compressed so much into, uh, you know, so much travel and all of these things happening. So it was what helped bring that whole scene together. And, but that was our challenge was to do that and, and to create that fluidity. And, and it was just about doing single takes. So to get the music what, right wasn't just about the notes, it was about getting the right performance. And that was, we took a lot of time to do that. And that even though there's not a lot of instruments in the film, to get the, the performance was the hardest part. And now you and Hausha are nominated for an Academy Award for your work. How does that yeah. feel? <laughs> uh, it's surreal because you, I've never really imagined that. Um, but in, then you realize that it, it's, it's, so, it's so much for your parents because <laughs> they're really happy. Um, and I'm really, really proud of the film. I, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that the film is getting the recognition that I think it deserves and everyone was so talented. It's really a, a film that's the sum of its parts. Everybody worked so hard on it and so to experience the, this, uh, the world of, of the awards with this film that I feel represents us so well and, and is a really beautiful story, it's, I think it's the best way to experience it. So I'm, I, you know, we're proud of it. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah, thank you.